Welcome back. Thank you. How does it feel? It feels good. You know, uh, it was a little surprising for sure, but uh, hey, man, it feels good. I got there, got with the guys. We're working hard right now, so ready to win a game. It's different here now. Yes. It's, this is not Iverwin Stadium. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Things have changed. Yes. Does it feel different or does it feel the same? Um, no, it feels different for sure. Um, you can tell the, the organization and the guys here and the whole feel of it is just different. I mean, we have facilities now and they're, they're top notch, so uh, you, you can't beat it. You said you were surprised when you got the news. What was oh, your for reaction? Sure. For sure. No, um, I was just I was shocked, man. Honestly, I, I can't say I wasn't. Uh, I was with the kids and with my wife and saw it, saw it come up and was just like, okay, got to, I got to take some calls now and figure out what's going on. And you know, once uh, once all that came, uh, you start looking at it and. Uh, you know, it's a good opportunity for me, for sure, and uh, I think this team has a good chance to, to win the East and, uh, and hopefully get to a, get to and win a great cup. Obviously, when you left here the last time, it was under, I don't know if, if there were difficult circumstances, but there was some acrimony between you and the team. Uh, where does that stand now, and how do you feel about it now? Well, you know, remember, this is a business first and foremost, and uh, I think everybody kind of blew that part of it out of proportion, and they got real personal with it, and it was never about that. Um, you know, it was business for me, it was business for the team. We put it behind us, and, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't have come back if, if it was still an issue. Um, I, I don't think they would have traded for me had it been an issue either. So, um, you know, we, the past is in the past, and we're ready to move forward in, in 2018 and try to win. When that disagreement happened, your disagreement was with the team. You never said anything about not enjoying your time here yeah. or playing for these Ever. fans. It wasn't about it, that, right? I said it from day one, man. I, I thoroughly enjoy my time here in Hamilton, and, uh, you know, now that I get a second go around, uh, it's going to be back to normal for me as far as that's concerned. I, mean, I still have friends here. I still have people here that I've talked to. You know, Mike is still here on the team. And uh, and Ike now is our strength coach, which is crazy for me. But, you know, uh, it's, it's great, man. Honestly, it is. And I'm happy to be here. How do you feel the fans are going to react? I don't know. Honestly, um, I think some people are going to like it. Some people won't. That's the nature of this game. Man. You, ain't gonna, you can't make everybody happy. And uh, if you do, you're probably not going to be here too long. Health-wise, I uh, missed a couple of games. One game, I guess, game. with Montreal. Yep. Otherwise, feeling good, though? Feeling good, man, yeah. Got back in there today, working, and uh, yeah, I look forward to, to getting out here and competing. How does the offense uh, fit for you in terms of what June Jones I like it does? so far, man, just from what I picked up today. Um, I thought I handled it pretty well. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get in there and make an impact as soon as I can. You grabbed a, a number that's pretty famous around here. Right now, a ton of jerseys that were sold. Was it any question that you wanted that number? Nah, I mean, it, for me, it's second go-around, so it just, it just felt right. Make it easy for the change for people that need to make a difference. Stab <laughs> hey, the Williams, Williams on just the like, back. Just stop the Williams on there. We'll get um, you right. Did you ask Terrence? I don't need no, I didn't ask no. Terrence. I know Terrence. So, you know, me and Terrence have uh, we were in Chicago at the same time. And, uh, you know, I've known Terrence for a little while now. So, no, no big deal. You've worn some different stuff over the years too, right? This is my first year out of 80 in the CFL. Okay. Uh, but, you know, like you said, I've worn some different numbers in the past. So, I wore 82 before. So, having the two just felt... You know, second go around, second time back. It just felt right. Just Your felt thoughts right. of Jeremiah before arriving here and now? Well, I told Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah in CFL week, man, that he's a he's a heck of a player, and uh, you know, I wish I could get a chance to play with him. Halfway joking, uh, but uh, it's funny how it works out. Um, I think he's uh, definitely put himself in that upper echelon as far as quarterbacks go, and. Uh, you know, we're, we're counting on him in a big way for sure. And I think, uh, you know, just if he continues to play that he's been having, we'll be fine. Is it good to have a teammate from Montreal come with you in here? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, we, we were both in the same spot, you know, same position. We both got kind of found out similar ways and had to do things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's nice to know that you're not the only one in that boat and having to struggle with some of the things that happen when you get traded, and especially an in-season trade. So, you know, it's nice to have that. But uh, at the end of the day, man, this is uh, this is work, and, and uh, this is the best job in the world, man, coming here and play professional football. So. Did you find out on social media too then? <laughs> I had some missed eh? calls. Um, I'll say this: uh, I was with my family, so it wouldn't have mattered if they had called me four hours before, two hours, thirty minutes. It wouldn't have mattered because I didn't have my phone on me anyway. So, first impressions of June? Jones? You know, I've actually met June, uh, June a long time ago. Uh, back when he was coaching Hawaii, I played New Mexico State. We did this um, whack media day, so I actually got to golf with him. So, funny story: he walks on the golf course barefoot, no. He didn't even use his driver. He used irons the whole time and was killing us. So I didn't know June. Obviously, I know his offense. I know his history. And, uh, yeah, you couldn't, couldn't ask for a best situation, honestly. Family up here, too, in Canada? Not right anymore. No. <laughs> Not anymore, man. I had to go back. But, yeah, uh, 
yeah, this is what it is. Just the life of a football life, player, life right? It's kind of athlete, man. All things considered, they uh, you know they got to spend some time up here. You know they love coming back. And, and yeah, it's been good. You've been through a lot since you left here. Right? It's been a, an <laughs> interesting a five or six years, definitely, right? Definitely, definitely, but uh, you know definitely worth it. And uh, like I said, I'm ready. I'm ready just to get out there and compete, man. Try to try to win some games and get to this great cup. I know, I know what type of a talent this team has. You, know, you see it from afar. You see the the way that they went out there and you know, beat Edmonton, beat some teams, lost to Sass, which is kind of weird, uh, especially being in Montreal, seeing how we beat them and just kind of how well the way that game worked out. So uh, you could tell this team has a ton of talent, and we're going to be able to get to a high level.